Okay, so this would be day seven. Uh, we'll be picking back up where we left off on the 30-day uh, the uh, servo motion program we're, we're doing. This is the, the motion program that we're going to be doing with the ACD file with the HMI system to have a fully developed system running off of HMI to actually be emulated with no physical hardware. Um, without further ado, on the last video to kind of go over what we did, we added the uh, control elements for the uh, resets for any kind of faults on each axis. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll program the uh, axis home at this point. So basically what we want to do is we want to have individual homes. So we'll have axis one, we'll, we'll call this uh, HMI axis one oh. uh, again we go so we'll make this uh, we'll keep this scope at a, at a project level and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw uh, we'll, we'll throw this in there so what we want to do at the same point in time and I'd like to highlight this too uh, so I already have uh, access one uh, ons or uh, one shots, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of those, uh, but I also want to to throw in the fact of if the servo is on or not on, right? So let's say we'll say axis. Sorry about that. Axis one, and I'm not typing. Okay, axis one. And the reason I'm saying that is because of the fact of uh, on the virtual axes, uh, you, you don't actually cut them on. You, you cut them on when you actually home the system. So they're slight, they act slightly different than a normal servo. So let's go ahead and look for axis 1. Okay, axis 1, and we want to be looking for the action bit. Uh, uh, I believe it's action status or... Should probably coordinate this a little better. Let's do that. Okay, so I want access on, so access status. That's a dent. Uh, we want to have might be under servo servo action status yeah okay so we want to have uh, we want to make sure that we do not have the action status so if it's already on we don't want to be doing this right um, we can do home too uh, if it's already prior homed uh, we can do that as well so <coughs> Now let's go ahead and add our homing uh, instruction to the system. So again, so we'll go to motion states and then we'll go to not our on because we would use that naturally, right? But this is the homing sequence. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this where it needs to be. This is group, this is move, home. Okay, so in the home, we're going to go ahead and if you recall, we made our axis, right? So axis one, servo controls, and then we want to branch that down to our home, right? So go down to our home, we select our home, and then we just select our axis. We can drag, drag our axis from down below and select it just like that. Uh, now what we can do is, is, uh, Let's look at our, our axis properties, right? So let's look at our tags real quick and then sorry for that. My seems like my PC is kind of slow right now. Alright, so 
we can look at I believe we can look at home status uh, might give me that it might not yeah home status we can look at that instead of this on so we can say the home status we can come back and throw in a bit in there and say you don't want to home it if it's already homed right or if it's already on in our case it's an on scenario but um, so access home status right so alias it paste make sure you're in the right so let me verify that I did that correctly so here's an instance where I did not uh, I kind of jumped the gun I didn't put this in the right scope so real simple quick easy to, to delete right what we want to do is come down and throw a couple numbers behind it apply come down here and paste that in there make again make sure your program scope is there right you make sure you want it in your program scope because we want to be able to uh, export and import this into every routine right or every program for access one two three and four so again let's break this down to the tag that we're going to and we're going to action status right uh, servo status so put this in alphabetical order to make it easier on us and we come down to servo action status okay so now we come back here uh, so what I want to do is is go to <clears throat> find it and then I want to come back up here delete it go back up to my tags and edit and simply just delete it out again it's uh it's not going to be used uh, because it, it was improperly put in so I just you know I kind of did that by mistake but it's good you've seen that because you know how easy it is to get rid of it so our program see if you look at our scope right here if you hover over you can see that our scope is our access level our our access one program our scope is our access level program on this and we, we have it aliased over so we can say at this time you know we, we could say okay you can't home if by chance you are already on or if in, in our case because when we home it's going to cut the servo on and I will say that on any servo when you press the home or when you when you home a servo it automatically cuts it on therefore if you try to home it at a set certain time no matter what server you're trying to run if it's a kinetic 6000 or something like that then generally speaking it's going to cut on um, I will say that it depends on how you program it so in our instance we are using a virtual uh, virtual access so it will cut on so the homing status is not necessarily needed I will just put it in there as a reference but we do have it programmed and we can at that point say we can use our home status bit as access home right so at this point what we could do is, is add tag and come down here and say access homed and we could say and this this one will make a, uh, a program uh, actual uh, processor scope so access one Owned. <clears throat> so we want to make that that's going to be like our summation bit right so we want to make sure all the system is is completely homed we're going to use this as our summation bit to tie into our basically our uh, our main running logic to make sure before we start that all axes are again uh, all axes are okay so there are no, no faults we want to make sure all axes have been homed 
So we can do this and we can also come back in and say uh, system home, right? So we can actually have a full system home if we wanted to. Let's say HMI system home. So we can do that as well. And that way, if the server is already on, no big deal, right? Um, yeah, we took that out of our program. So okay, let's. So now let's let's kind of go over this before we export and import. And again, we're kind of getting into the ten minute mark. So if the home button is pressed, right? If the home button is pressed and the there's no action on, or and the fact of okay, so and there's the home in status is not active, then we want to go ahead and home it. When the access when the access status comes on, so we forgot to put access one right here. Sorry about that. Okay, so when access one is homed, it's going to do a summing bit. It's going to go back to the full system. Okay, so real quick, what we're going to do is export this, export the routine, and we're going to go back through and just populate it through, all throughout the. Uh, all the other axes, right? Okay, so come back and delete this in the axis two. Import simply the same thing we did in video uh, video six. Come in here and keep the same name because it's it's program scope, right? And we come back and do our finds. So axis one and this will be for axis two so we replace real quick and then we want to make sure we also do our aliases right so we want to put our our uh, under bracket right there so let's replace those uh, verify again verify everything is done right verify that everything is, is exactly how you want it uh, so at that point, accept it, come down, verify that it did take, access to happen. Uh, that's one thing I was curious about. Yeah, okay. Um, if it took my, okay, so if it took my uh, one shots, and it did. So again, there's nothing in this routine, right? So safe to say we can go ahead and delete it. delete now we're going to come back import and when we import we're just going to tag you know tag replace and it's real cut and dry this is modulus programming uh, easy cut and dry make sure everything is done properly just makes uh, makes everything just so much easier and again Okay, so add our underscore and make sure you type the stuff right because it won't find it, right? This is why I say double check. Double check that everything is completely changed over. You see one right there that didn't change over? So want to come in here and say Okay, so now, see, I actually missed one. Now we have everything completely changed over. Okay, so now we accept it. Open it up, double check it. Everything's good. And we do the access four. So uh, delete the home. Come back in and import. So as we import, or wait on the import to pop up. Axis one, come back in, axis four. All right. 
Make sure we did all of them we possibly can. Okay, we did. All right, uh, now underscore. Okay, double check. Again, uh, everybody makes mistakes. So double check, accept, and verify. Okay, so now we have our complete system put in for the homing. Uh, so now at this point in time, we have our fault resets. Sorry about that. We have our fault resets put in. We have our home our home routine put in. And again, we may add to this. We may subtract. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll probably end up doing the same features, you know, import, export. Uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and uh, kind of throw that in there uh, as, as far as what we're doing. So again, we're right at the 15 minute mark. Uh, we'll go ahead and end this video for day seven. And uh, I appreciate your time. And uh, we'll go ahead and pick this up back in uh, day eight and keep on programming this uh, the system to get it get it worked out. Okay, so uh, again, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.